Well, this is the Stuart 10V, essentially complete. And I'm really pleased because I machined most of this, 99.9% .9 of it, um, probably about a year ago. But then when I put it together, uh, surprise, surprise, it didn't immediately work. And by that point, I was kind of ready to move on to my locomotive builds. And as such, I just kind of stuck it on the shelf. So if you've seen my videos, my piece to cameras, it's all often right at the top of the uh, cupboard here. And it's been sitting there for, for a while. I decided that, you know, being December, it's probably a good chance to get things wrapped up. And this is an obvious candidate. This is probably the, the most salient point, which is that the exhaust should really be on the opposite side to the intake. That's here. So this is a little brass um, adapter that I fitted, which is quarter by 40 on one side and uh, a little and a little uh, ridge there to hold on to some clear tube. And what had happened is I didn't use a, a, a yeah I didn't use a DRO or anything to, to drill this stuff. So actually what I did is I, I drilled the, uh, the steam chest and then I transferred through to the steam chest cover and to the cylinder. And when I transferred through, I transferred through in this orientation instead of it being backwards. So as such, this only fits one way around and it's actually backwards. Um, but in general, I'm pretty happy. Uh, one other thing I did to, to improve performance after fettling with the valve gear, fiddling with the valve gear for ages, was to add the gaskets, which, had, which has been done, and add a bit of oil, which has been done. Um, but at um, the moment, I'm just using my little airbrush compressor. And my airbrush compressor can't go any lower than it is now. 